Hello! Today we're going to learn how to paint our spider webs to make them extra colorful and we will be painting using something called tempera cakes. Tempera cakes are dry until you add water with a paintbrush onto them and then they kind of work like a watercolor. So I'm going to show you how to use these today. You can use any colors that you would like for your spider web but the the thing you have to do is to just use one color at a time on your whole web before you change your color in the water bowl. I'm going to start with my wet paintbrush and I'm going to use the color pink. When I want to activate my color, I use my wet paintbrush and I gently swirl the paint with the water. The longer you swirl your paint, the brighter your color will be. So I'm going to swirl, 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 swirl. And now I can start painting different parts of my web. I'm going to look at all of the different spots that I can paint in between the black lines of my spider web, and I'm going to choose any spot that I would like to. When I paint, I'm going to paint one little area at a time. And if my paintbrush gets dry, I go back and I pick up more by swirling it again. I'm going to jump over here and pick another spot, trying not to touch two pink spots together. I want to keep them separated. Swirl and paint. If you get this paint on a table or on your clothes, it's no big deal because we can simply wash it off. If my paintbrush gets dry, I can just dip it back in the water and swirl my paint again. The nice thing about temper cakes is that they dry super, super fast. All right, I painted as much pink as I would like to, so now I need to clean my paintbrush. When I clean my paintbrush, I'm going to dip it in the water and poke it at the bottom, so that way I don't accidentally drip paint anywhere I don't want it to go. My paintbrush is clean and wet, and now I'm ready to choose another color. The color I want is this blue, but it looks like it's almost empty, so when I swirl, I'm going to swirl only touching the blue parts, not the middle but the blue edges. Swirl, swirl, swirl. The more you swirl, the brighter your color can be. And now I'm gonna paint my blue spots anywhere that I want, as long as blue doesn't touch blue. Ooh, my paintbrush is getting dry. So I need to grab more water and swirl again. When I paint, I'm doing my best to stay inside the lines. I'm going to clean my paintbrush and choose a new color. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Paint.
All right, I know my painting is all the way done when there's no white spots left, and I tried my best not to touch any two colors together. Now that I'm done, I can put this on the drying rack and let Miss A know I'm finished. 